Okay, um, how did you find photography? Uh, I think I found photography the first time when I was in secondary school and I was looking through one of the teachers at my school's art books. She had this big shelf full of books. Um, and I found this book, which is my favorite book called Beautiful Losers. And that was probably the first time when I found photography that I really liked and started thinking about photography as an art. I think photography found me. I mean, I don't know. Uh, since I was little, I will uh, just um, frame the world around me with my hands. So most of the photos I remember were not really photos. So, and it's funny because even my best friend remembers um, the photos I will show here. So I will be like, oh, look at this. Look, and I will zoom with my hands. <laughs> so yeah, my like my most treasured photograph, the photograph that I took of um, Anya and her mum in her garden. Um, with their dog and their cat actually like I don't know if you saw like the cat is like really like hidden in the shadows in the background it's kind of like I was a bit surprised when I noticed <laughs> um but yeah like I love that photograph the reason why that's my favorite photograph is like even though like I showed it to Eva and she thought that like the gaze between Louise and his mom and um their dog was like perfect but Anya really like she thought it really like threw it off the way that Anya was looking she thought that like it, like made the image like feel unbalanced but okay so my most treasured photograph is the white box and that's because uh, when I took it I couldn't believe what I was seeing I thought it was like a mirage or a miracle or something from my imagination so I was cycling in um, Princess Islands, Buyukada in Istanbul, trying to catch the last boat. And then I saw two white horses coming towards me. I was like, oh, what is this? <laughs> it's like the time stopped. And I was like, the boat, oh, the horses. And I took a photo. And I took the photo because I thought, if I don't take the photo, I will never believe what I saw. It was like two white horses in the middle of nowhere, walking on their own. Eva was, um, Eva was telling me about the photograph of the white horse and she was saying that she kept it up in her house for a couple of years um, in a frame to see if she ever got bored of seeing it and because she didn't she decided that it was like it was a good image so I think that's a really cool way that she like thinks about things is that she like she wants to know whether you remember stuff and whether you get sick of it and like that's how to tell whether it's like whether it's good Mm, I like that um, Millie also has this excitement when she takes a nice photo, she feels like a child and I think I have also this thing, even 21 years after I officially started photography, I still get this <gasps> excitement, so it's nice to see it also in Millie's eyes, that I like this photo, and, and it's like this, it's, you know, it's like this passion and this way that you cannot really describe why you're happy, but you're really happy. And uh, a photography has saved me from doing any drugs or turning into alcoholic or, you know, any addiction, any bad relationship. Photography has always been my constant companion. And it's nice when I see young people that, you know, they have... I feel that they are safe, you know, when they are like, I love photography. I'm like, whatever happens in your life, you will always have photography. This is like a safe place for you to be, you know, a way to use photography as an art therapy or as a way to connect with people or as a way to understand yourself so photography is quite a big part of my life and it's nice when I see it in students you know I can see the seed I'm like I recognize myself like 21 year, years ago I used to be like that I used to be the weird uh, the old one out you know because it's love photography is love it's like it's too much I think I think that was the um, uh, the last day. So I, I I realized that she's using one of the machines I use, the Dymo, and she quickly tick, 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 without me seeing her, she made this and she gave it to me, and I was like, oh, this is for me. I was like, oh. I was very moved, you know, when I received it. And I have it here as a reminder that you make the sun shine, or you know, sometimes you can inspire, influence people, or feel connected. It's very sweet.